Hello Libras, welcome to your general love reading. This reading is going to cover February 15th through March 15th, and this will apply to Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising, also Venus. And um, if you're new here, a new watcher, what we usually do is comment our birthdays in the comment section. So go ahead and represent for Libra gang. Comment your birthday, see if you can find your birthday twin. Also, if you're on Instagram, so am I, please follow me on Instagram. And uh, most importantly, if this reading resonates with you, um, please show love and support the channel. You can hit the like button or subscribe um, if you feel that I was able to pick up on your energy. And um, I'll continue to upload monthly videos doing so, okay? So let's get into it, Libra. This reading is going to apply to you and your person. So that person you're thinking about right now, okay? Try to focus in on that energy. Um, you can either be with this person in a long-term relationship or an ex, or this is someone you are dating, getting to know, married, it can apply anyway, okay? So let's get into it for Libra. First card we have out here from the Romance Angels is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? So someone feels a little trapped or uh, feeling like life is out of control in some way. They're put. It's almost like putting themselves in a prison. It could be a mental prison, because you are an air sign, this could be you. And you need to free yourself from some sort of doubts or um, thoughts that you've been having lately. Okay, it could be about your love life. We'll put that on your side for now. I'm going to do three columns. Everyone is getting this card. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, you, someone is doubting something in their relationship. This is either you or their partner. And the universe is telling you it's okay to have faith, trust in the situation, okay? Don't doubt it or don't doubt yourself. Have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So someone's definitely very much in love. We'll put that in the energy between the two of you. Honeymoon. Some of you could be going on a trip soon with someone that you're with. Or this is saying that... Not to be too much in our heads. I don't know why I say our, but we are sister air signs. I'm Gemini, Gemini sun, Aquarius moon, Aquarius rising. So all air. Um, but this could be telling you to enjoy this time, to stay out of your head. Things are going well between the two of you. Don't second guess it. Just enjoy the time that you guys are spending together right now. Right, exactly. Stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So stay optimistic. Trust. Have faith in the situation. Things are going good. Enjoy it. Don't second guess it. Or vice versa. Your partner could be second guessing instead of enjoying the moment. Playfulness. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. All right. So someone needs to, again, like I'm saying, enjoy. I'm going to put that in the energy between the two of you. Enjoy the good times that are happening right now, if there are, or, or don't think about the negative, or don't think about what can go wrong. That's the energy I'm getting for some reason. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like this person that you're dealing with has a lot of passion for you. They love you deeply, or you love them deeply. You have past life relationship. You've known each other before. So this is someone you have history with, okay? You guys could have been friends before. This could be literally talking about past lives, if you believe in that, right? Someone that you was with in a past life. But you can see here from these two cards, look at this passion, like how much this, this guy is just in love with this woman. So this person loves you very much, and I feel as if you're doubting it. Maybe you've never experienced a love like this, okay? And it's making you worried because you're worried that something can go wrong, that you're gonna lose this love or this passion or this person in your life. Okay. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. You know, I feel like the two of you have a very high potential to get married. Some of you already are married or coming out of a marriage. Someone could be thinking about getting married or proposing to someone here because they love this person very much. 
you guys are not on the same page, I feel like. Someone is very much passionate and in love and seeing a long-term future here, and the other person is um, start, starting to doubt, mostly doubting themselves, but starting to doubt if this is real, if this is something that is going to work out for them, because I feel like things have not worked out in the past. So either that's you or the person you're dealing with. But someone's having doubts here, and the other person is like, you know, I love you very much. This is somebody that I'm going to be with long term. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual paths. So again, you guys are, you guys are, you have different beliefs about things and different views. You're very two different people. And there's this energy of not being on the same page. Let's do some outcome cards. So I want to see what's going to be the outcome in the situation between you and your person. Give me some outcome. Okay, that was quick. The Five of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like you guys could be going through a little bit of a rough patch right now. And it could be because someone is doubting the relationship. Ooh. We have Judgment and the Six of Swords. Let's do that again because I want to ask the question. What is the outcome for Libra and their person here? What is the outcome for Libra and their person? Yeah, you see, there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of confusion here and not knowing what to do. You need to free yourself from this energy, from this lost, confused energy. It says positive thinking and faith is going to bring this, this relationship together, Libra. The Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is on your partner's side or your side, but one of you is ready to make an offer here. One of you, you know, could be making a proposal or something, but someone's ready to invest. They see a bright future with you. That's what I'm getting. Someone sees a future, and the other person is starting to get fearful or confused. Wow, the Lover's card. So this person wants to be in union with you. You could be dealing with a Gemini also. This person, or an Earth sign, you have the pentacles here, so that's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone wants to be in union with you. They want to offer you something. Possibly proposal or marriage, as I'm saying. Or maybe you're getting confused because, or maybe you're, you're, you're worrying because you, you're not seeing that. Maybe this person is keeping that under wraps, but I feel like their intentions are to make an offer to you. Okay, Libra, let's use the Gypsy Oracle cards. I don't use these often, but I want to see if we can just pick up some more details. Let's do that again. More information for Libra, please. These cards are so slippery. Wow. Wow. Okay. So you have wedding here again. This is the second. Both cards say wedding. All right, let me see if I can get that closer so you can see. Wedding, wedding. So there's definitely a situation here with wedding. Um, either someone's in a, in a marriage and they're leaving a marriage to be with someone from their past, someone they have a lot of passion for, but they're very confused and worried about how that's going to work out. Or this energy is talking about something leading to marriage. You have the lover card here. So this is your lover here, very passionate, very much in love, ready to offer you the world, ready to offer you marriage, okay? Or... Again, like I'm saying, there is some sort of like third party situation I am picking up on where someone's going to be left out in the cold because someone else is pursuing their lover. But for the majority of you, I feel like the person you're dealing with is ready to offer you something very big. And it looks like a marriage proposal. Um, you have the messenger here at the bottom. So they will be delivering this message very soon, or at least giving you more insight on their intentions for you in the future. So don't doubt it, Libra, or vice versa. You're going to be making a big gesture towards someone else. All right, so wow, big news for you guys. This is interesting. Okay, so Libra, that's going to be a reading. If you want to book a private reading with me, there is a link in my description. You can click that link, purchase a reading. And I'll get back to you within 24 hours via email. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, Libra.